Parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, it doesn't matter. You're watching the WWE Network. We're watching the WWE Network. Put us on in the background. I'm sure something good happened. Stick around. Get your Andy Fix at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. Get 25% off any digital download with the coupon code Support Indie, including the latest release, Steel City Prodigy, the best of Ryan Mitchell. Want to support Wrestling Mayhem Show directly? Donate as little as $1 an episode to get your name in the show and access to WMS Gold content. Check out our page at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertise. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. wait. Yeah, let's start the show. What's Wait, up, guys? Are we all Welcome on? to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode number 408 or something. Uh, I'm your host, DJ Lunchbox. Happy to be here with you, coming to you live from the Pittsburgh area. Uh, with me, as always, is the trusty, the reliable, the masterwork in human form, ladies and gentlemen, Sorgatron. That's me with the thumb. That's right. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Sorgatron here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. That's DJ Lunchbox also in the Pittsburgh. And also uh, with us in, uh, let's see where he's at, in the also Pittsburgh is Matt Carlins, the master of ceremonies for Sunday night and and and, <laughs> and orchestrator of a beating of pinata fashion. Oh, yes. You're right. Here, hang on one second. Oh wait, where is he going? Uh -oh. What is oh, happening? Uh, hi, I'm Roman. Not prepared for this episode. This Apparently left. not. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There's oh, the destruction. Oh, yeah. oh, there's the destruction. Can I just say? Can I just say that might be the strongest yeah. pinata that I've ever seen? <laughs> it might be. It should not be structurally yeah, <laughs> reinforced next time we do this, right? And also to the point where uh, we also have a uh, trailer. Uh, of the action. Great trailer. Na yeah, Phil, named Phil, named appropriately Phil, Phil, Pinata Phil. <laughs> of Hate. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's because it was covered in pictures of people that people hate. That's <laughs> right. Uh, if you can get a little bit of action there on the video, you can check this out on my YouTube, uh, SPS Struggle. It's also in the Facebook group. Uh, group for wrestling mayhem Facebook show. Goop. Facebook goop. Yes. <laughs> uh, Facebook goop. That, all this made on my iPhone, and there's me taking a whack at uh, Jeff Hardy. Since I know. There's Dutters, iPhone. friend of the show. Uh, that is not a condom, or is it that Riz had in his face? Uh, yes, it was. Yes, there was beef jerky in there. It was, very, was, like, was not like an option. Gun. I actually still have. On, oh, I lost. I lost my punch balloon. But uh, you it get the idea there if you're on story. video. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, what, yeah, like I said, it's in the Facebook group if you want to check that out uh, and our discussion around it. Uh, but this is your, is your Wrestling Mayhem show for this week. We're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, Blip TV, on your Roku device via Blip TV. Uh, and like I said, like as I mentioned before, you can also join us on uh, Facebook, uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show for the group, Rest Wrestling Mayhem Show for the page, also on Google+, Plus at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Um, you can also uh, join us uh, live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com at 9 p.m., uh, followed by uh, the Indie Mayhem Show at 11 p.m. tonight, uh, or just catch us on all those streams and, uh, for both shows, uh, including Wrestling super, Mayhem Show Super, super, super Feed. The super feed on uh, <laughs> iTunes as well. All those links are at wrestlingmayhemshow.com for however you want to consume us. Uh, you can also drop us a line to Good Times, Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or drop us a line to 412-206-WMS0. And also, before we get into it, a reminder, you can support us. We have a page on the Patreon at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Also at wrestling mayhem show.com. There is a not, link you're not spelling it. You have to spell that. P A T R E O N. Uh, so you can check that out. And, and if you if you just give us a dollar, you will now get uh, wrestling mayhem show gold. Uh, a, a privately, you will receive it. Also, we, we are still going to be serving those again to people who bought the app 
over on the iTunes and uh, Android stores. Um, but if you, you just a dollar an episode is all we're asking. If everybody that listens to the show does that, we'll be doing pretty good and can upgrade the show. I mean, look at look at LB. LB's at like five frames a minute at this point, <laughs> and we really need to update him. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, hi. Can you guys? Can you guys see? Can you guys? Are you guys? Can you, see, can you see me, guys? Got. Guys, oh, oh, he's Guys. turned it, he's turned into a wheel. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, right? And Bobby's here too. <laughs> hi, hi. You and forgot Riz, to mention Riz Riz well, here as well. I unintentionally left him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry, no. Bobby. <laughs> How did you get in here, Bobby? I didn't mean for you to be on oh, the show wait. right now, and here you are. What's going on in, here? I snuck in the back. <laughs> Yes. Hey, why that. not? He's, He's a here podcast too. ninja. He's so he means he know. let's get started. With the sh- let's get this started with the show. The only way we know how with the fan mail. Uh, let's go first. Hey, uh, LB, are you prepared for some big PPC action? <laughs> no. Okay, then I'll go first. <laughs> uh, first of all, from Dustin, dear May. He's still shorting our name from last <laughs> week. Apparently, that uh, fucking little shit. No, it's all right. Hmm. These days, there is a little less traffic on the wrestling forums. There's fewer hashtags for wrestling-related trends. There's fewer bloggers writing their opinions on how, just how stupid a multi-million dollar company is for making the choice or taking that direction. We can all tell that the network is here because those who have bitched, praised, complained, worried, and exalted the WWE for their decisions have spent the past 24 hours gorging themselves on wrestling content. Uh, questions! It's <laughs> <laughs> a little message to Riz in the document. Uh, what, number that one! That wasn't in the email, sir. What's that? That wasn't in the email. No, that's why I didn't that read it, and it went directly uh, to email. you. Keep reading the email, sir. All right. What all is right. It? What is it? What does it say? It's that. <laughs> <clears throat> Question. Right. I'm on. A- what was the first thing you watched on the WWE Network? I uh, watched the. Uh, what did I watch? Oh, Legends of Wrestling about uh, rebels and outlaws. Actually, uh, was my first thing. Uh, what? Uh, well, wait, I, no, whoa, well, no, no. That's not correct. The first thing I watched was Color Bars. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great paper. <laughs> well, you can well, log on. The stream was working, but it was like a, uh, it was color bars and in tone. So was it a gorgeous ladies of wrestling paper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow! Oh wow! Uh, LB, what did you watch first? Uh, well, here's the thing. Um, I haven't signed up yet. Oh, oh no. I, know, I realize Watch it's blast for me being a host on one of these podcasts, but uh, my options, uh, it's there was no options. I have to pay rent. Okay. So, suck my dick. I've got to pay my rent. Okay. And then uh, the first uh, the first Thursday of next month, then I will engage in uh, Sweet Sweet WWE Network. And I can tell you right now what I'm going to be watching first is Halloween Havoc 1991, I think it is. The main event was Lex Luger versus Ron Simmons, but I'm tuning in to see Abdullah the Butcher get fucking electrocuted. Because I used to look at that all the time when I was a kid. Because as I've said on the show before, that was one of three tapes I could rent from uh, the local <laughs> rental place. Yep. Yeah. What about you, Bobby, since we're on the line with you there? I watched ten and a half hours of wrestling yesterday. Okay, what was the first Bobby, hour what the though? Fuck the first. <laughs> Holy shit, man! I what left the fuck the are you doing? On. I left the stream on and then I watched Raw and then I watched, you know, and it just like just turned into a thing. So, I wa- the first thing I watched, I tried to watch ten and a half hours of wrestling yesterday. You know yeah. what I watched ten and a half hours of? <laughs> your, I don't know, your, your eyelids. No, I actually watched the first season of Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. And that is a good show. That is a good fucking show. I don't care what anybody says. That is a good show. Anyways. Everybody should watch it. Eric Andre is hilarious. I attempted to watch um, Royal Rumble 1999. Mm-hmm. The, the stream didn't really let me. It kept buffering and everything like that. So I switched the, to the um, the actual like channel. And I watched the Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels thing. Uh, I think it was Beyond the Mat. Uh, I watched the NXT the special. 
they're beyond the ring. Yeah. And I watched the NXT special then I, and then WrestleMania one came on and people in the eighties could not handle their wrestling. There was, <laughs> <laughs> there was garbage being thrown into the ring like every five seconds. And I learned an important thing. Brutus, the barber beefcake wasn't the barber, but he was from parts unknown. I huh. said, you don't know where barber school is. You don't want to he, know. He, where had, he, he is. hadn't gone to cosmetology school yet. No, no, apparently not. Uh, no, Riz, barber what do you, what have you been watching? Beyond. The first thing that I watched, uh, I, I watched it on my Xbox and if it, it, it's horrible on there, <laughs> I, it, it's the only bad part that I, that I have so far with the, I'll get in that in the next question as I read on. Um, but my first thing that I watched, I watched the live, you know, the live streaming of the stuff they had on the network. And the first thing I had on was the WrestleMania Rewind, which was talking everything about the main event of WrestleMania 1. And I posted an Instagram. I'm on Instagram now. Of the weirdest picture they found for Mr. T. And it's him with like, it, it looks like he's doing a duck face. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you can call it. I'm going to look it up now, but uh, if anybody else wants to go, you can go. <laughs> okay. Well, I uh, pity the fool who don't suck on lemons before the photo shoot. What about you, Matt? Did you pick up, have, have an opportunity to pick up uh, the network yet? Well, here's the thing. Um, I haven't subscribed for the network yet. Okay. Okay. Um, and um, I'm going to pretend that I'm too cool for it now. I'm too cool for the network. <laughs> oh, I see how the it other is. Kids I are see doing how it is. Yeah, okay. It is. okay. I am too mainstream for the WWE oh. network because it's on the internet. Oh. So, wow. No, um, it's, it'll happen. <laughs> that's, that's, I'll be subscribing soon. It just hasn't. It hasn't you know what? You best. keep your network TV job and your pinata of hate then. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> Awesome. Um, you know, we actually, this is a question that was posed uh, on the Facebook yesterday. Um, and there were some fun answers on there. Uh, Big PPC, he says Halloween Havoc 1997. Oh, yeah. Um, and Riz, we were saying that you were getting in on the network there. Uh, Alexander Carr says, well, when I finally get this thing. I'm going to watch ECW pay-per-view, maybe Guilty is charged. And I think he just did say, I saw a tweet, I think, today that he's finally got around to getting to Guilty and, is charged. And uh, I found the picture that I was looking for. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Wow. That is, that is just like Mr. Omer Gerd. Omer Gerd! Omer Gerd, Mr. T! Mr. T is and, going to feed on Roddy Piper like a vampire. And, <laughs> exactly. Uh, to, and and it, the fact that Mr. T looks like this only makes it better that Roddy Piper looks like a an old picture of your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> this is a generic picture That's of the your, 80s. of a grandmother. That's the eighties for funny you. Funny because it is true. Um, <laughs> uh, also from the chat room, uh, 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 Rick says King of the Ring 01, Shane O'Mac versus Angle. Um, awesome. Great choice. Uh, Kiz Chiff in there says same as me, which was uh, what did I say? The first thing I actually watched, I think, was the yeah, the Legends of Wrestling. Um, also in here, and I think you guys got into some other discussion. Oh yeah, uh, Ryan Ryan Parker says Extreme Rules 2012. Never did see uh, the Cena Lesnar match. Uh, Mike says Hardcore Heaven 1999. Most of it anyway got frustrated when it started to buffer every five seconds. <laughs> uh, Anthony Valvo. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. he says v. he says he's on a quest for his podcast vagina. to watch every WrestleMania and give it a grade. So he started with Mania One. Robert Goulet That's was fantastic. I need to check that out. I want to follow Goulet. 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 I want to uh, check out his podcast. So go 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 jump in on that Robert on the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Uh, when you guys uh, if you haven't yet or. Uh, you know, you get it later this week or something like that. Hop in, uh, in on there. Let us know what was the first thing. I mean, this is history, man. Mm -hmm. This is history. I don't know if you guys noticed. I was live tweeting every process yeah. yesterday another, morning. Another awesome thing was that uh, Alex was watching uh, WrestleMania 1 at the same time that I was. Mm -hmm. And it was like we could, like, 
you know, it, it was it was like watching Raw, going back and forth with everything. So it's pretty and awesome. You can watch too, like old pay per views yeah, and stuff. You could have old pay per view parties. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And tomorrow night they're showing Royal Rumble 2013 at nine o'clock. Wow. Yeah. That, and SummerSlam's cool. at like that, four. They're not SummerSlam. I, I, that's something I really didn't Survivor think about Survivor. whenever they were starting the twenty four seven stream. Was that was that that kind of social interaction would be. Mm-hmm. Something that'll be happening, but that's pretty cool. That's gonna be cool. Do they have mm-hmm. um? And because I haven't seen them from the like, I watched Countdown earlier today. Uh, did and I wanted I wanted to uh, mention some things about, but there, I didn't see a hashtag on it like there usually is on the live stream for like old stuff. Are there hashtags? I don't know, anybody, but they, has anybody noticed? I think there is a generic, you know, thing. They ran WWEN. They ran like WWEN. Okay, and it does show like on the bottom screen that they always yeah. have, you know, how they have the, the ticker at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. A little ticker there is a ticker. The first thing I saw, I gotta say, first thing I saw what, uh, when I popped the stream up, when I was having a little bit of buffer, issue, I, well, I was go back and forth cause I wanted to see what they were doing on the stream. And the first thing was, uh, of course, WrestleMania rewind of WrestleMania one. Uh, but the first time I saw one of the tickers in the side and it was like something about, Hey, get the app or Hey, uh, you know, check out the pre-show tonight or something, but it was Bray Wyatt popping up. And I'm like, Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of scary. Yeah, they, blew out the, they blew out the lantern and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, <laughs> what, what is happening? Why is Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania one? What's first... going on? <laughs> The first bumper I saw was Fandango, mm-hmm. and he twirled Summer Rae away as the bu- the bumper went away. <laughs> it was awesome. pretty awesome. That's that's great. It, it, it it's a great. I love the idea that we can just turn this on and tune in and and connect like that. Like I can see the I, I can see that happen. I can see this like, hey, you doing anything? Hey, you watching this WrestleMania like on a Sunday afternoon? Like, hey, hey guys, want to get on the hangout? You know, whoever's free mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I can see just doing like random hangouts. And, like, <laughs> we just but, watched WrestleMania one, and this is what we think. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, like, like there's so many possibilities for that, and there's so many co- uh, possibilities for guys like us making content about the content we love. I think uh, now that that's this really kind of opens it up, and I mean, and, and WWE probably loves that because if we keep talking about this kind of stuff because we love it, more people are going to buy the network for one thing, um, and, and you know, this is what you're missing. Social media, now, attention. Oh, and, and we'll talk more about the network when we get in the round table. Bring some more people in later tonight. I want to get everybody's experiences. But hey, you know we're in the middle of an email. Yes, we are. Y'all. Uh, question so two. Uh, way, way 20 minutes into the show. Uh, what complaints or issues have you uh, ran into in the WWE Network in the first 24 hours of the shot? I, I think I want to wait. I want to hold on to that until our round table later because I mm-hmm. think everybody's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll, we'll have a broader conversation about this. On Sunday, an interesting event happened as the Wolves captured, captured tag titles uh, from the Bromance at a house show in Morgantown, West Virginia. Cool. Uh, it's not far from here. Actually, that's like just south of Pittsburgh for a couple hours. Uh, what are the potential positives and negatives for TNA making the decision to do this at a house show? Also, homecoming for Zima Ion uh, as he went to school in Morgantown <clears throat> and actually graduated while being at TNA. Side note, I love seeing that TNA people are going back to school. Ethan Carter going back to school to get his degree while in TNA. Um, That's because he sees there's not much of a future in just yeah, the <laughs> no. something about what they see in their future. But still, I mean, <laughs> either way, either way, like they did this, you know, obviously not probably not getting paid as much of TNA as they were in WWE, but the schedule, I think, probably more allows them to do this. Um, and and I, I, I like seeing that. And again, you know, kind of half of those guys came from WWE and realized, well, that was the top. I got kind of shut down. Uh, maybe I should look at other options, but no, very smart on them. Guys like, Z- you know, uh, uh, Zima and, 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 uh, uh, Ethan Carter and, uh, the Pope, I remember was doing the same. I've, I've heard it from a few different people. So really, really good for them. Um, uh, but back to the question, what do you think about this decision? Uh, and this has come up. How many weeks of TV still have to go through? Oh yeah, they're still in England. Yeah, there. How many weeks did they <laughs> shoot in England? England. <laughs> it's gonna be so. You awful. don't think they're? You don't think they're gonna flip? Them? Just flip them back and like like nobody noticed. Oh, I hope they not. did it on Sunday. What they have? How they do have they, 
how do they explain this on Thursday? Or did they film something already <laughs> that that you know, alludes to it? It was it was a decision. I to- wouldn't be surprised if the Bromans aren't on TV for a while. We just forget about, but the wolves like, are gonna be. No, 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 no. I like for the taped shows that they have coming up. Mm-hmm. I'm I, I bet they aren't even on the show. Like they just aren't there, mm-hmm. or they do backstage segments without the title or something. Yeah, they can't just have him and them have the title. Yeah, I think it was also a stunt. To try to get some buzz created around the fact that Elimination Chamber was going on, and they wanted to steal a little bit. Be, uh, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. I, I really they're, don't they're think they're going to get much traction the during there. Elimination Chamber. Yeah, they dropped yeah. the tweet during Elimination Chamber. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram during I think, it. I do. Know, I do think there is something that that has to be said about TNA doing this that is good. Hmm. Um, for weeks, they had. I think there was numbers around the 300 area of people going to TNA events, mm-hmm. live shows, mm-hmm. and this having you know a title change would probably boost that up. Not to saying that it's going to sell out you know Madison Square Garden in a in an instant, but it's going to have some impact on it. Yeah, yeah. I did there. Yeah. Um, but but I do see like. What, the, what the Bobby never what? slows down. I said high impact. Mm. Yeah, uh, that, if you want, if you want to yell at somebody, yell at me because I started it. Um, mm. But <laughs> are you angry or aroused? <laughs> both. Both. Uh, both. Both. <laughs> Man can't um, be both. Come on. But I can see this helping a slight bit. <laughs> In <laughs> strange I noises. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. Don't worry. I'm gonna about start it. purring Just... at you in a second. <laughs> I'll fart in your face. Keep oh, talking, no. Keep um, talking. I haven't but, finished yet. Keep talking. <laughs> but I, I do think it will help out. Probably not to the thousand th- thousand range or whatever. But I think it'll be like around 500 or 600 people. And they need that to improve their base yeah, and yeah. their promotion. They need as much fan hey, base as they can I get. Mean, and mean, if you can have tag team champions switch hands, who knows what can happen? I next. mean, that's, that's that's like the numbers we had to an indie show over the weekend that was IWC, Grand Great Talent, but with Al Snow and 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 Luke Gallows on the card, you know, as the names. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, but. We were there too, Sorg. Well, yeah, yes, I'm telling everybody Christopher else. Christopher and I'm DJ tell- Lunchbox were there. I'm telling everybody else this as, as a comparison point. I'm, I hey, signed hey, seven I'm doing- autographs. You what? I signed seven autographs. Seven nice. autographs. Six of them were on Two of them. Me. So that's two of them were- $35? $35. 35 nice. hard-earned dollars. <laughs> but six of them were on me, so... Yeah, fucking... You still paid me, all right? So... Semantics. I, I also want to point out, since, since we're on this, and, and I know this is not the Indie Mayhem, I'll talk a bit more at length about uh, the the uh, IWC International Wrestling Cartel uh, show over the weekend. Uh, but I do need to point out, uh, you know, these guys, these lovely men here at the top of the screen, uh, uh, man the DVD booth and represented well the Wrestling Mayhem show with matching shirts. <laughs> with That's an amazing picture. Fucking <laughs> shirts. <laughs> My favorite uh, picture of all look, time. We look like a couple. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of guys. <laughs> wow, and and crazy it's 2014. Guys. Who also butt fucked. And by the way, there's a comment on this picture on Instagram. Two swinging dudes from our friend Charmin. <laughs> We're wild and crazy guys, Sork. Wild and so which, crazy which one of you guys. is man? <laughs> Oh jeez! Uh, all right, all right. I'm gonna next finish week, this email. Month we're getting we're getting matching headbands to match. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Will, is it gonna be Willie and Chuck? Yep. You look so Willie and Willie Chuck. And that's right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, the rest of the email. Uh, that's it. That's it for me. Interested in your experience with the network? Because I have yet to get on the network train of wrestling overload. Keep up the good work, gentlemen. Regards.
dust. And like I said, we'll talk more okay. about the network later on. Uh, again, the name shortening, just like the Big E and Cesaro, who had yep. a match last night. Man, <laughs> was, which was awesome. <laughs> that's great. Uh, LB, what's Big PPC got to say? <sighs> well, here's the thing. Um, I I was not uh, I was not here when he made his big return. Okay. So when somebody read the email, did they read it in Russian? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm, uh, no, the beginning of it. Yeah, the beginning Half of it. You kind of gave up on it. Better than I mean, yours. I mean, use your oh. judgment. For old for old time's sake. Okay. I'm gonna read it in Russian. Okay. Because Don't I was be reading it at work. And I couldn't do it, not in Russian in my head. Hey, 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 it's me, it's me, it's the former and soon-to-be fan of the year again at Big PPC. Was that too loud? No, that's not bad. No. Am I too many levels? Okay. What a raw. Hogan is pretty, pretty good. So he host Mania, brother. That's what he good at, dude. After he says a pray, take some vitamins, brother, and take some Cialis. Spelled correctly, hold on. <laughs> and <laughs> renews his ARP. It will be a hell of a WrestleMania. Undertaker versus Brock looks very promising. And for sorry for the Sting versus Taker fans, doesn't look like it will be happening. <laughs> that may be some bad news. Boom! Daniel <laughs> Bryan looks like a lock-in against Triple H. Fuck balls! I wish this could just be Trips versus Roman Reigns instead. <laughs> then Bryan could be inserted into the championship match and Reigns could get the rub from Triple H. Just a Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. What a week for Cesaro. I enjoy Cesaro and Swagger. I like the way the people think from the beginning. Coulter is amazing! I have really been enjoying the WWE Network. I think that the discussions of wrestling on the roundtable videos are amazing. And are a must-see, like Zorg said. Rednecks and Rebels. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just had it's a spelled with dinner. a Z, Mark. by the way. He can't wait is, for more. Is... Well, he really did spell my name villain. with a Z. He is the villain Zork. in Toy Story. Zork. He is. Rednecks and Rebels. You <laughs> 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 sound like the cow. <laughs> <laughs> one one, one redneck. We're going a different rebel. direction with this, I guess. <laughs> there were definitely some speed bumps or bumps along the road yesterday with the network and connecting to certain things and certain devices. But overall, I am being feeling very positive about the network and look forward to more. Hope everyone is enjoying the network. Happy wrestling watching until next week. It's been me. It's been me. It's been it. Big PPC. Take care, Mayhem crew. And remember, Bootista. <laughs> yes. 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 I like Make it. Make sure a shirt. Awesome. Awesome. So that, uh, if Wait. I'm not. What? Wait. What? There's more. There is. Question. This is the second email. Oh, right? second email. What, yeah. oh, what meat that. card match would you like to see WrestleMania? I would like to see a Money in the Bank or a Tag Team Turmoil match. Yeah, almost forgot question this week. Take care and don't stare. It's big PPC. <laughs> Take goal. care and don't Fucking stare. Goal. That's the amazing. World, I, I am so happy that big PPC is back on the show. I feel that all is right in the world. Sorg, what do you want to see in the mid card of WrestleMania? Um, wow, I haven't really thought about a good tag match. I, I I still stand by. There needs to be a four-way to the caliber we've been having lately, and you know they'll go even bigger with it. With the Rose Brothers, yeah. Usos, you know, whoever's at play at the time, um, I, I think it's just going to be tremendous. Um, I mean, that's that's really all I'm really considering, you know? Um, I hope they do something with Big E, not throw him in some weird tag team or something like that. I hope something actually happens with the U.S. belt. I, I guess we can count as mid tard but, but I just, what happens to the Shield, you know? It, mm. it, it, is it a, yet another six-man tag? Uh, maybe they spread it out and they have a tag in a singles or something. It, but it, I think there's a lot of good opportunities of 
I don't know. Maybe they come back around and we get. What about like a Reigns versus or a Seth Rollins versus uh, uh, Cesaro? You know, um, I don't know. I I, I, I hope that's what we, the kind of stuff we get. I think that four way you mentioned could easily be for the Intercontinental Title. I think that would mm-hmm. make a great match. Okay. Yeah. I... You you can do you, for an Intercontinental or a U.S. What if? Uh, spitballing here but what if the the shield implodes and they say okay you think you're hot stuff i'm going to take your title from you no i'm going to take your title from you and what if they just have a shield three-way for the title Mm -hmm. you know and maybe they don't even entirely implode maybe it's a uh ray mysterio uh you know eddie guerrero thing when they have the tag belts you know and you know it it, they won't be that even killed you know but yeah i i did want to see uh, Cesaro versus Sheamus, mm-hmm. but after last night, I want to see Jack Swagger versus Cesaro versus Big E. I think that would be phenomenal. That would be fun. That could be a lot yeah. of fun. I I don't think they're gonna have a, a Money in the Bank match like B- BPC said. No. <laughs> but what if they take that concept, the, the you know the the ladder match with all those guys in it? for the United States title or for an intercontinental championship, have a, a gigantic ladder match for that title. That'd be a good idea. It could be fun. That could be fun. I mean, we brought some big gimmicks with the hell in the cell recently and everything. Um, I could completely see that. Lunchbox, are you just doing this, like getting the off on what I say? Cause I, I hear you moan. You, you like, you like that? That make you happy? Kind of. Kinda. Because it's making me happy in my lunchbox pants. <laughs> Nick kiss. Nick kiss. Okay. Yeah, moving on. Um, <laughs> um, Move on, please. So, hey, you know, if you want more fun stuff like this, again, we have the Patreon account. We have the WWE app, Wrestling Mayhem Show, Gold, iOS, Amazon, uh, Android Store, as well, uh, dollar ninety nine. You can get all that stuff. Or again, contribute to our Patreon if you like it. It's value for value. If you dig what we're doing here and uh, want to show some love, and it's something a little cheaper, it's not you know paying twenty dollars <laughs> for a shirt. Uh, uh, something for that. Uh, also, you know, being the code, uh, being in the show, we had the code uh, for your twenty uh, percent off this week uh, at the uh, sorgatronmedia.com slash store on digital downloads, including where we're going to show now uh, one of our most recent ones, Best of Ryan Mitchell, Steel City Project. And we'll be right back with Remember When. Remember When. Hey guys, welcome back. Go check out that uh, that and other DVs over at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. And of course, check out more uh, with the uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance and rwalive.com. have a new D- DVD coming out uh, in the next few weeks. Fury 5. Sounds like there's some great things that happen there. I did not attend, but I will be editing that very soon. Confetti is involved, I'm told. So instead, now it's time for that segment y'all love. Remember when? Um... When I remember again, again, I remember when, when, when. Will's best Madison Rising impression. This week on Remember <laughs> When, of course, we had the big introduction last night. A <laughs> pen <laughs> through the <laughs> hand <laughs> from Undertaker to Brock Lesnar to start that feud. Although I think you can arguably that started back at an incident at UFC a few years ago. Um, but uh, so there's been uh, plenty of feuds going into WrestleMania over the year. And it's a great idea. I think, I think Mike, you, you came up with this. What were your best feud starters that you remember over the years? Um, and Mike, since you started it, do you, do you want to go with the first answer then? Do you want to let us know your first? Oh. Remember oh, when? Yeah, oh, sorry. It, <laughs> no it problem. Cut, it cut out for a second. Okay. Um. Uh, the first one that came to mind for me 
was the start of the Jericho Michaels feud for mm. WrestleMania 19. Yeah. Um, like it started out with Jericho saying that he wanted, you know, that he idolized Shawn Michaels and everything like that. He wanted to do all the stuff Shawn Michaels would do. So it ended up being with Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho declaring themselves entrance one and two for the rumble that year mm-hmm. because Jericho wanted to do what Shawn Michaels had done. And then when the rumble happened, Shawn was already in the ring and Jericho's entrance hit, but it was Christian in the entrance way doing the Jericho pose. And then Jericho snuck up behind Michaels, beat his ass with a chair and eliminated him. <laughs> it was, it was awesome. Nice. Uh, what about you, Matt Carlins? Trying to think of which old school one I want to go with. So I think Hogan Andre is a little too cliche and played out. So I will go with the start of the Hogan Savage feud just because it was mm. so deliberately set into motion when Savage won the belt at WrestleMania four. There are moments during Savage's celebration where I think Hogan plays grab ass with Liz for a split second. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. His memory is frozen. <laughs> oh, Carl. And then Thank you. That guy bass was real. Exploded. <laughs> Perhaps. I just, uh, but I like that. I like the idea of that really long build. Back in the day of the really long build. Yeah, that right was before, one of the best builds for a WrestleMania main event ever. And right that before Mania, they had uh, did five. They, they had Savage doing that whole, like, it had to be a 10 minute long um, clip show of him explaining every single thing that happened. They did. And I, I, you know, I, I feel I got to. YouTube that or something and check that out. But yeah, they went back and they explained the entire thing. And by the end, you know, you're just like, I mean, that um, WrestleMania five was a monster for, um, you know, you know, and that's one uh, that was on that rivalries DVD that we talked about in the last few months. Um, and, and I love, that's the one where CM Punk says, actually Hogan was the heel. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that, that's how good that was. Uh, Riz, mm-hmm. how about you? I'm a big Bret Hart fan, mm-hmm. uh, and I, I watched WrestleMania Nine on uh, DVD. Yeah, or on a DVD on VHS one <laughs> once, and then I re- and I and then I realized that was the start of WrestleMania Ten feud because it was Bret Hart who lost to Yokozuna. Yeah, and Bret Hart got his revenge by beating Yokozuna the next year at WrestleMania. So there was a lot of build up to that match, and it was one of the best, one of the better ones I think I've seen. It started at WrestleMania with a feud. It wasn't a, it wasn't really a match like The Rock and Cena, and it just happened again. It was oh, he lost, never got an, a real title shot against Yokozuna when he lost his rematch when he lost his match when Hogan came up and won and then never nothing really happened of it until WrestleMania 10 when he won it again after being beaten by Owen Hart hmm. the same night hmm. All right. I like that one yeah I like that uh, what like about you too. wheels I, I've been sitting here thinking while everybody's talking I'm like and honestly, I have to say almost like last year with CM Punk and Taker, I mean, maybe I'm partial because of the great promo work that Punk did with the juggling the urn and just dropping it. I laughed very much and I went, I don't care if Taker's the good guy. I loved Punk for doing this and I enjoyed it so much that it built and the match was really good for both of them. Awesome. What about you, LB? Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, Shawn Michaels Undertaker build uh, from I think it was WrestleMania 20 actually their first match because it was uh, it was like Shawn saying you know I'm your polar opposite and everything like that but he kept getting the better of the Undertaker he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't he would hit him and run away and he uh, he would taunt him and he would do this thing that you know people hadn't really done to the undertaker before which kind of take the piss out of him and uh, it was it was fun to watch all the way up to the actual entrance of the match in which you know the undertaker rises out of the ground 
in the darkness and all that shit. But uh, Sean descended from the heavens and wore, you know, a white coat and all that shit. It was just, it was so well done. And it was, it could have been a thing where the match easily didn't live up to the hype, but it, it exceeded it. So, yeah, I think that was 24. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, uh, Bobby? Uh, mine, I don't. I don't know if this was like the start of the feud, but when they brought Mike Tyson in for the uh, Michaels and uh, Stone Cold match at WrestleMania 14, uh, and just the outcome of that with him siding with the X at first and then just at the end flipping to, to be on Austin's side, I think that was awesome. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so uh, since you just took mine, um... oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not allowed to be here anymore. Uh, my, in the car, Hogan, but Hogan. I got a backup. I got a backup in my pocket. Um, uh, the the best was, um, uh, and I can't remember like the start start of it. Like the what I remember is Sergeant Slaughter beating Warrior for the oh, belt yeah. at Rumble, and that parlayed into all the stuff that led to you know the the foregone conclusion of sergeant slaughter and hulk hogan as he started downing america i think at this point we start burning flags and we start then they burn like hogan's shirt as a flag one time um (laughs) which is worse (laughs) he was really charged and as like you know being the age i was and not really knowing wrestling wasn't real. <laughs> you know, so it was just like, how do they let this guy in the country at this point? There is a war going on. You know, uh, the, the, the first war in my young, like, remembrance, I, I recall. Um, and I didn't also didn't understand why there were trading cards about De- Desert Storm as well. Uh, so that further to... Ah, kind I of, had some of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had think totally I had the Storm Star and Norman Schwarzkopf. Yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. But a weird time in our nation's pause. history. So there you go. Yeah, it was a weird time. Monetization of war, uh, different than what they're doing today. The '90s were profiteering. Weird. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, but with that, 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 I mean, that was mine. I mean, that was that was a really big moment. You know, I mean, and of course, you know, Hulk Hogan come around, come back around, and and it was good. It was a good time. Uh, WrestleMania Seven probably is one of my favorite Good WrestleManias. Good times. No, hey, you can let us know what your favorite moment was at Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com on the Facebook group on uh, on on the Twitter on at Mayhem Show uh, Google Plus Facebook page all that kind of stuff. Hey yo, another way uh, you guys can support us and look really cool like those two guys were looking earlier. Uh, is go to ProWrestlingTees.com dot com uh, slash WMS. Well, I'm trying to find that picture again of those wild and crazy dudes. Uh, you too can wear the same shirt as your secret gay lover. <laughs> there it is. You can get shirts like this property of WMS Mayhem shirt uh, over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Really yeah, also the Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show.com t shirt, the, the logo t shirt. But not only that, not only do that to please, you know, to support the show. Uh, and and support the show wearing it around. Uh, you can also get uh, other indie wrestling f- friends of the show, people we're fans of, stuff like that. Uh, CM Punk, Young Bucks, DDP <coughs> at ProWrestlingTees.com. Put us in your cart too, along with this. Best friends, Trent Beretta still has shirts. Where the hell is he? He's designing T-shirts, and you can get it in pink as well, Riz. Uh, so <laughs> lots of options there. That was just one time, sword. <laughs> One time. One time you bought the shirt, many times you wore it. But please go check it out. Check it out at prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS. So guys, talked about Raw in the wrap up last night, so I think we can really go at I wanted to bring back uh, so let's let's okay, let's let's get the negative out. Everybody's been having some kind of problems. WWE uh, Network. It's the second day, guys. It's day yeah. two. Did anybody expect a better rollout than we've gotten in the last 24 hours? Nah. Honestly, I'm surprised how good the live stream has been. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I thought it would be the inverse problem where the on-demand content would be fine, but mm-hmm. the live stream would be choppy as hell. Yeah. But the live stream has been absolutely fine on the platforms that aren't still glitchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, is like precisely what I expected. You know, I expected there would be you can't sign up or access the site. Uh, the sign, 
because I know from previous things, and I've, I've heard a few discussions on this. The wor the hardest part, is that sign up process. The way the servers work, is everybody is hitting and pinging, and the way it needs to talk back to you, doesn't work right. I actually have a, a friend that worked on a donation site that has a similar kind of process as probably what's going on with the signups for the WWE Network. And there's, if you, if you think about it, uh, if you're involved in that kind of technology, there's a different way to do that so it doesn't ping a server so hard as it did when potentially 400,000 people maybe signed up yesterday. Um, now, I signed up, this was interesting, I checked in about 8.30. <laughs> And again, it launched, it said sign up at nine o'clock, right? And you saw that when things started going down. So I signed up, I signed up at 830. I was just going to see, okay, I wonder if they have anything up. And I clicked through and it's like, oh, sign up for your trial. I'm like, oh, okay, let's see what we're doing and sign up for a trial. Here's my credit card or actually PayPal I used. Um, and I was in and I'm like, oh, and then it hits a stream. It's color bar, it's tone, like I mentioned earlier. But then I had access to all the streaming or all the on demand. I was like, okay, this is good. And then around about 9, 9, 10, I heard, I saw all the tweets. Oh my God. And you hit through the sign up and you could not get in. Um, and I know some, let me, what, what were some other problems that you guys were having? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm trying to sign up for the WWE Network and for American Healthcare. And I'll tell you which one happens <laughs> first. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, wow. Um, go. On. There. I, go ahead. And, go ahead. All right. Uh, I I had some issues logging in yesterday. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. like uh not not just the typical like oh this isn't processing and this isn't processing. I had a weird thing where I would type in before I signed up I would type in network com. And it would bring me to the home page of the network, like where you see all the shows, all the pay-per-views and everything. And I'm like, okay, I know this isn't where I need to be because there's no nothing on here that says sign up. Mm -hmm. So then I tried going on a different browser and I typed in network.w3.com and it brought me to the right site to sign up. So I signed up, I got, I got it all logged in and everything. And then I typed in network.w3.com on my on the first browser that I used, and it brought me to the sign up page. <laughs> it was completely ridiculous. I had, like, I don't know if it's my browser, I don't know if it was the site, but it was just ridiculous. It was very yeah. frustrating. Yeah, it, it was mostly that that sign up process, like I said, I and you know, some of the apps, some of the platforms, but I, you know, I think a lot of those might be outside of their control. And of course, I want to say outside of WWE's control. Uh, this is for the most part, I mean, I think there's a handshake happening with WWE.com and stuff, but I think this is for the ma most part being handled by uh, MLB Advanced Media, uh, who, who, you know, mm -hmm. are the people that put it together. I know when I did They the took our money. They took our money. <laughs> the, PayPal, took our this, the, money. The, the PayPal comes up, uh, you know, uh, MLB. It comes up Major League MLB M AM. Yeah, Major that, League Baseball. I'm like, what did I? What did I do? <laughs> the thing the farthest uh, away from 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 pro wrestling is is baseball, and now it's on my statement. You know, mm -hmm. you know, well, people like are... furthest away from wrestling. Okay, I it's mean, no the... curling, but but you get what I'm, I'm getting at. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt Carnes. I know you're the baseball fan here. I am, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not yeah. a baseball fan here, Sorg. Well, I live yeah, Sorg. Yankee Stadium. You, you, guys, a, you guys want to hear what I did? For it. What'd you do? I signed up for two different accounts. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh Bobby, no. no. I, signed up, I signed up for the, the first account, okay, for the regular WWE account. And I'm like, well, where's this, the information and stuff? So I tried to log in, and I'm like, well, maybe I have to, like, redo my password or something so i said that i forgot my password I was trying to log into my old wwe account so i checked my email and no emails came so i'm like okay well then maybe i'll just create a new account so i created a new account got signed up that way and then like about two two three hours later i got like four emails for, for a new to reset my password on the other account 
<laughs> so it was like just a huge mess. Yep. But luckily, luckily, I only paid on one account. So, and of course, oh, yeah, cool. uh, and of course, app wise, we know, you know, uh, apparently those that have gone on Xbox and PlayStation, it's been really kind of laggy. And and I've seen certain services. Uh, on the Xbox, be really finicky. Like even when it's not launch mm. day kind of stuff. The PBS app is kind of odd. Um, <laughs> like the stream isn't really that. Does it have Wishbone on it? No, Why I was watching, watching Sherlock. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> wishbone all day long. If that was <laughs> What's the story, wishbone? wishbone? You're a fucking dog. You can't see real colors, but for some reason you can read and give your dumbass owner advice. <laughs> to the same wishbone. extent as. To the same extent as uh, Sword was just talking about, um, I tried going on. I, I could go on this. I use my Internet Explorer now, or on for, just for the WWE Network. Okay. And nothing Why? else. Why? Wow. And because Why this, you do that, I yourself? tried Google Chrome and it didn't work. Uh, so I tried the uh, the the network on on my internet explorer my only thing i have left on there mm -hmm. and it worked fine so that's good um but i've been trying so hard not to be angry at my xbox because i'm on it right now and the the first thing i i have on here is the uh ecw hardcore tv mm -hmm. There is four things to choose from two years. Mm -hmm. There's one from 1994, two from 1994, and there is also two from 1993. Okay. And they were all just NWA Eastern Championship Wrestling. Yeah, I don't think they put any other ones up yet. No, well, and I, and not only that, I go to uh, the the pay per view section because mm -hmm. I want the first thing I wanted to do, and I've mentioned this on the Facebook group, was watch the first pay per view that I've watched ever, which was uh, SummerSlam '94. Not up there. What? Not up on the Xbox. What? Can you wow. search it? Not on the can you Xbox. So just can't get into I, it. No, it. I can go to SummerSlam. It shows, you know, all the, and it just shows. <laughs> Help what me! What are you doing? No, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It, it said. said <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Um, it, said you, it said you sent me a picture, and I was like, "Well, I'll go look at the picture." And then I was like, <laughs> "Joining the Hangout." <laughs> no, I can't, this is wrong. But yeah, I, I try to click the. Oh, that's a, that's a really button. cute picture, though. <laughs> It'll be in stereo. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Whoa! Oh, hold on. Creepy. Wow! <laughs> there we go. Hey, everybody, sorry. Back to normal. But yeah. yeah. That was my uh, pressing twin brother select morning. year, and it's not telling me that there's no more years except for SummerSlam 2013. Man, I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to bother with the Xbox app until the weekend. Just did you just try SummerSlam? Give Fest? it time. Just yeah, because Riz, SummerSlam '94 is definitely on there. It's it's on it's on he it's on the the, the no. The what he's saying is he can't find website, everything through but it's that app, not through the yeah. Xbox. So oh, so yeah. Well, the app is still having major issues. Like yeah. they've even released the statements. So yeah, it, trying it, to work it's, on. It, it's just a buggy system right now, and the, mm -hmm. you know it. But uh, but I, my I am getting my time in by watching. Uh, Bash or not a bash at the beach. Bash great American Murder? Bash 2007. Nice. When the you... great Kali defended successfully defended his title, <laughs> the World <laughs> Heavyweight Championship. Oh wow! <laughs> against Batista and Kane. It was a different time back then. <sighs> Batista so, was the workhorse of that match. This um. Just saying. But you guys say I I you know haven't seen big launches you know. It's sort of in this vein and everything. I really think, uh, by the way, here is the live stream. If you just don't know what, what it looks like, there it is. It's a live stream in a browser. 
There you go. Um, and we'll get pulled from YouTube now. Um, what are they job, even showing right now? Oh, this is the countdown. This is actually the countdown. They're on the X right it's now. So, and I enjoy the countdown show, too. But I feel like they've handled it. <laughs> now we're going to get, gonna get now pulled now for different reasons. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but seriously, they, 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 they did a good job responding when people could. Okay, somebody stop that. Don't make me mute you. Um, no. Shit. <laughs> but but they they actually responded because a lot a lot of times when you have like sign up tr trouble like people had yesterday, they said, "Hey, we've had a big surge. Something's happening." Some just don't respond, and you're just left with nothing, right? You know, you think it's you. You have no idea. But they, I think they did, yeah. they did it really. What's what's that? What? Yeah. Sorry, I had a. I had a oh a, yeah. I had a cough there, and it. it I was trying it to. Kind of sounded like yeah. yeah. A little bit, like a little bit. I just <laughs> a little bit. Out in my throat. A little bit because it totally was. But still, I think they've been doing well considering. But we kind of expected this. We thought it'd be glitchy. I just hope people don't say, "Oh, I'm not getting it because it completely doesn't work." It's like, mm, give it some time. But that's that's the kind of people that are getting into this thing. If four hundred thousand like, you know, people signed up, maybe only three hundred thousand are going to stick around through it. Yeah. Do you know how many still people are just going to do this for the week? That's true. Just and for one week. on everything they can for, for how many people took a week's vacation? Oh, <laughs> you think about that? If you took a week's vacation for the network, you, you, you really need, have you some issues. Help. Yeah. You have some I issues. don't know. Hey, we know people that take in week vacations when like GTA or Assassin's Creed comes out. Mm -hmm. And those people need help too, Sork. All right. Uh, no, you, we'll go talk them to them. Um, I'd rather not. <laughs> they they will find a baseball bat, club me, throw me in a trunk, and then rape a hooker over my dead body. He probably will. <laughs> this is accurate. He probably but will. Because GTA okay. is real to them. Oh no! <sighs> I'm not touching that. A whole weird wow. area. Here. Yeah. I... Wow. It's not. It's not. It's not real. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Wrestling! <laughs> Wrestling, the network. Um, so now I battle myself with one. Do I watch anything else? <laughs> like, like, do you watch anything else other than wrestling now? Yeah. Like, I feel sure. guilty watching other things. At what things. point do you think you can, how long do you think you can sustain yourself on only the WWE Network for you? I lasted Just 10 and a half hours. You lasted 10 and a half you. hours. Bobby and went then, to, yeah. And then I switched to At Midnight and Pete Home Show. At, yeah, because at some point tomorrow. you're like, wait, I have regular TV to yeah, watch. Yeah. What, what, what? I mean, again, I know it's like the new shiny, let's binge. We have a, I, you know, you're a kid in a candy store to begin with. It'll settle down. Other problem I have with this, if I want to watch something, it's not like, like some, you know, Netflix, I can go find something for 20 minutes, right? Um, I invest for at least a half an hour on most of these shows, if not three hours in the bulk of it when we talk about the pay-per-views. It's a hell of a time commitment, and there's no resume option. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, I, I, I yeah. imagine myself watching the 24-7 feed and then letting that feed kind of like spur my brain to go and seek out something else. Yeah. Because I, I think w when they did the demo, they did show that there were search options which could allow you to like search for specific wrestlers and things like there that. There are. There so are. Could, it, like, it, 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 locate it, here's, it, it's a pay-per-view. You know, here's actually the interface. I'm in a show's part of showing the pay-per-views. And if you go into search, uh, we, we actually showed this off. I'll do the same one as before. So if you want Bruno San Martino. And go hey. and search, and it'll bring up a lot of matches and clips Sword. and stuff. Yeah. Why don't you search do for matches test? JBL has won, Maggle? <laughs> <laughs> Maggle? Can we do a test? <laughs> let, 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 let's uh, type in Benoit. Um, uh, this is where it gets a little <laughs> questionable. So, okay, let's go to Chris Pinoit. Never heard of him. What? What? Nothing. But he, he's in but there. But he's still there. I mean, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can look for Owen Hart. Uh, Owen Hart's probably there. And there's the U. Well, that's weird. There's only one thing. Like this is this isn't exactly flushed out. Like you get Owen Hart, yeah. and there's one thing going on. Which, Type in Gold Dust. What's that? Type in Gold Dust. You don't get anything Type for in, Gold Dust either. Really? Type in the yeah. Basham Brothers. Last night I didn't. 
Type in Well, Virgil. I noticed I, I tried searching oh, for George the Animal still. Here, you got gold dust. Oh, okay. I, I think yeah. they were still working on it because uh, yeah. yesterday around noon, I was trying to look, search for George the Animal Steel and it wouldn't come up. Yeah. But it did like later that night. Steel, right? It. Oh, it just just <laughs> George and it didn't come up. It came up like a bunch of other ones that like there's jobbers listed in here. I think. Um, oh, there are jobbers. <laughs> Can I get I'm... Iron Mike Sharp? Oh hell yeah! Oh Mike Sharp. By the way, um, never search for Larry's Abisco. No. No. I got some just Iron Mike Sharp. It's such a pain in the ass to spell his name. Oh. Z y b y s k o. I think you're right. Wow, I've seen it on oh, a lot. Of, Damn! No, no, no. We've seen it on a lot of IWC DVDs. Oh, yeah, okay. I sold. I sold Remember, one he's of them. from Pittsburgh. Okay, so so you're cheating. Search no, Z-Man. I wasn't cheating at all. Z-Man. Oh, oh, can I show you the greatest thing I discovered? Because you know, when you think like, oh, okay, they have pay per views. Maybe they don't have a lot of everything. Max Moon, what's oh, no. up, Royal Rumble 1993? Wow. <laughs> the so, year after the best rumble ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny that if you type in Dustin Runnels, nothing regarding gold dust comes up. But Runnels? Or Dustin Rhodes. Either or. It does have Rhodes? Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, so, if you type in Dustin Rhodes, nothing from gold dust will come up. Now, okay, here's one thing, and then see if it comes up the way it did before. Oh, wait, this is weird. Because I swear, when I did this before, when I searched Bradshaw, I came up like four different versions of, of JBL. Maggle. 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 <laughs> Search for Maggle. <laughs> Search wow. for Maggle, Maggle. <laughs> Maggle go. I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, yeah. But it, you can also do it by show name, too. So what if I want, um, I don't know, what's a pay-per-view? Taboo Tuesday. Bad Blood. Bad Blood. There you go. That'd With be a good one, one or two Ds. What's that? Nope. With one D or two Ds. Two Ds. Uh, the extra D. Double Ds. Did they the do a booth ways? Get that extra D. Double now, D. This I haven't so dived into. Carry. This I haven't dived into. So like these are all like Taboo Tuesday and they're like actually listed match by match. So mm-hmm. is it actually gonna cue to that match? Like it is No, it, it's, it's gonna it, it's just gonna show the whole pay per view. Oh, so it just says it's in this. Here's the pay-per-view. So they're, they're not actually – here, we'll see how it looks. But it's, co- it's coming up because of the search algorithm that they have. Like, um, It's <laughs> divided up into clips of, of matches. So like each separate match has its own Taboo Tuesday 2005, like okay. um, Kane versus whoever. Like, okay. it, they're all segmented like that. So every time you put in Taboo Tuesday, it will bring up every result for it. Oh, I see. So, okay, yeah. so these are just, like, different tags on the same thing. Right. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's weird. That's a little weird. But, it's kind of like YouTube, kind of, sort uh, of, really. It, not, but YouTube doesn't show you multiple hits on the same video, you know? Uh, I, I, I think it's something they're going to flesh out here. Um, again, this is a very 1.0 project. So and you're going to see this thing evolved over the it's years. It's day two. It's day two. <laughs> There's not much so we'll probably be able to, for instance, we'll and may, be able to like so watch please leave wrestling. your hate at the door. <laughs> uh, what's that? What's that there? Uh, wheels. I said probably we'll be able to watch those good old primetime wrestling. So he and I hope so. Hell soon. Yeah. I mean, there's so much content. Um, uh, Mike. OK, Mike, you're you, you know what you what you've observed. Uh, you know, you've seen at least the promise of this thing uh, by, by get around there. You know, even though you've had some issues, you know, maybe viewing it. Um, uh-huh. How do you feel as a former uh, WWE on demand subscriber on cable versus what you have now? At least presuming it gets you know fixed in the in the next couple weeks. Uh, well, the content is definitely way more mm-hmm. um, than what was on the on demand. Uh, it the on demand I will say because it can't because it went through a cable. Mm-hmm. Like if um, I was watching the Nio 2 Rumble and I stopped it to go, you know, take a shit or whatever, I could come back and hit resume and it would be right where I left off. Okay. So, I mean, it's stuff like that. Like, I, I think I think it's a, it's a good rollout for, like, they're giving us what, what they promised and what we expected. I mean, there's bound to be some technical issues, but that's why they're doing the free week trial. The free week trial. Mm-hmm. So, 
I mean, I, I, like I said before, I was more impressed with the live stream and how that doesn't seem to have any issues. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to be the most encouraging thing going forward. Everyone's so worried about whether WrestleMania will hold up on the network. The one thing that seems to not be having problems is the live stream well, itself. That's the pay per view. Thursday will be the Thursday will be a big test. Yep. Will mm -hmm. it? Well, well, I guess Ready. okay. That, but that's not the first live thing. I I, I would venture that's that the, the more first people... sustained live thing. Really? Okay. The, the first. It's not... a two-hour show. Okay, versus like a half an hour, twenty minutes that that were the versus pre a half hour, twenty minutes pre-show and post-show yeah. that most people probably won't give a shit about because they're about to watch a three-hour RAW. I still feel like more people would have been watching those than the NXT, given that they were around RAW. I don't know. I'm... I don't know. The, the more I think about it, I think that I mean we kind of talk about how maybe WWE is trying to trying to test how tough this network is going forward that part of the reason for the for the free week trial that they're doing this week is to get them as many potential eyeballs they can on this NXT show to, to almost see if they can crash it on that night to see if the stream can hold up with a big live event that a lot of people will want to watch true true mm -hmm. true 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 because Thursday's still been a wrestling night so mm -hmm. if they can get more eyes on it you know It'll be fun. It, it, it'll be fun to see what they're doing on Thursday night and, and see how they do. And, and, and see what... It, when is Legends House premiering? Did anybody catch April. that yet? April. 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 Okay. Um, I feel like we... I filmed already, it like three years ago. I'm already sick of seeing the promo. I, I know. They're Holy probably... They're, they're, pushing, they're pushing it past Mania. They'll have a bunch of stuff building up. They have, they have enough, <laughs> to be honest. I think they're going to have Legends House on the same night as NXT. I could see that. I could see that. Um, so that, wait, are they? Well, I guess Thursday night they're doing that. I, I guess I'd, I could look at the schedule. I, uh, are they doing like NXT is going to be on Thursday nights? Like, yes. yes, NXT yes. is legit going to be on Thursday nights. They are but stacking NXT, Thursday nights. Oh I my think god! NXT Legends House and Superstars. Why would they be doing that? <laughs> <laughs> There's not like another show on. I mean, it's not like you're going to be watching yeah, other wrestling. Else, There's on. no other wrestling on Thursday. I mean, <laughs> guys, our world title changed to ha hands at a house show. Oh my Ooh, god! What? Where <laughs> Bret okay. Hart? Sorry, to how fucking stupid that is. Guys, oh, they boy. kick. They <laughs> kick. They kick, Michael. We kick on Thursday Damon, night. Damon's not here, so I'll say it. Michael, they kick on Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, amazing! I bet they won those uh, sales with a kick, <laughs> <laughs> or several. There's finishing move kick. There's one thing that I do have a problem with hmm. uh, with, with the feder with the entertainment right now. Mm -hmm. Um, they didn't do anything. No graphics. No, you know, not even a, like a like a thing at the beginning of the show. For uh, Mabel, mm -hmm. for Viscera, who passed yeah, away. That's a oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Last yeah. Wow. Yeah. Never wow. did anything. That's weird. But I, I can kind of see why. I can kind of understand why. I don't – like, I'm sure they will do something, but they probably had way too much shit on their minds – this yeah, the network to start off. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Because if you do, if you do like a little screenshot, like "Rest in Peace, Big Daddy V," and then all of a sudden you have Hulk Hogan come out, that that's not a good contrast. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good contrast. Yeah, because but at least do like, like that, in the middle have, of the show. Don't have a cold open. Give it. Give but it. They had a cold open to Raw this week. Give it so. SmackDown. Give it SmackDown. Yeah, okay. that's I, what I was I'll, thinking. I'll if you don't see anything on SmackDown, then that that definitely you know. You, I, I'd say raise a stink up, but this isn't the first time. No, this isn't the first time that's happened either. So that that they missed it on Raw when it like just happened, and again, I, I, I couldn't imagine. Think about this. I don't know how many of you guys checked out the pre-show, but they were broadcasting a pre-show live while taping a whole nother show. Just to, like hmm. just to fathom the capabilities they needed to do in house. They had I two. They were taping two shows. They had two productions going on at the same time one live to tape obviously one live to air um mm -hmm. that's that's pretty impressive i don't think they're going to be doing that again i don't think they're going to do it 
a lot. I think it's going to just end up being a backstage show. I really feel like backstage pass. We talked about a lot last night uh, about, hey, did they have not have a dark match since they had the backstage pass and everybody left by the end of it? Um, I, I, I think read that's, a report yeah. saying that they are going to come back to the dark matches after the show. Okay. They want to work out. The, they like um, the backstage, the pro show yeah. is – primarily going to be a backstage thing and that's what i felt like some some of the um some of the videos they showed of, of like tests or maybe the stuff from online stuff looked like it's a backstage segment show too um and i think that's fine because you, yeah you don't want to mess with the live crowd thing you know but yeah i kind of feel bad for that crowd they didn't get anything at the end but they ended on taker so let's be honest they went home happy you know Plus, and really, I, and really after about... three hours aren't you done yeah I mean... Yeah. If you think yeah. about it, if like been, if you've ever been at a live taping where they do raw and something else and something else, it's grueling and you you oh, get it. Oh, yeah. it, it is. Been like, to fucking end it. Oh, the Christmas show. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I had so much so fun rough. at that show oh, though. Yeah. That was such a fun it show was to be fun, at. But man, it went on and yeah. on and on. The, the, yeah. the only thing I'll say about that Christmas show is that it says something that that. Street fight with Del Rio and Cena at the end of what felt like about six hours of live wrestling actually got me excited and out of my seat a little bit. That they could do, they could actually move you after that amount of time was mm-hmm. impressive. But oh mm-hmm. my God in heaven, no, <laughs> never again. <laughs> don't, don't make Sorg, Sorg, don't make me go back. Don't make me go back. <laughs> I don't want to go back. Oh, sorry about that. Sleepy um, robot. Sleepy robot. Uh, how many, robot. How many shows do they do on SmackDown night? Is it just main event now? So all superstars is on yeah. Raw? Yeah. 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 If you would have watched the pre-show, you would have saw <laughs> I'm sitting there. On I'm pre-show. sitting there. I'm trying to figure out who's on the apron for the six-man tag. I'm like, I think that's Rybaxel, but who's the other guy? He kind of <laughs> – he kind of looks like 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 one of the three MB, and that really confuses me. Um, yeah, but that, I mean, it was a cool effect, at least. I didn't agree with one. I think it was marking out perhaps or somebody else that tweeted that they thought that the pre-show going on at the same time was very disrespectful to the match going on in the ring. Mm. I can see that actually. Why? It's not like they. What's going? You gotta think how far away that is. I don't think the people in the ring are distracted by it. And the action's going on in the ring. Everybody else is looking at lights and backs of heads. More so, the pre-show was distracted by it because they scared the crap out of Booker T with the, the, the Kofi's pyro. <laughs> 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 Booker T's like, oh my god! <laughs> uh, but I, I, mean, I, I think that the pre and post shows will go through a drastic evolution oh, yeah. as, as time goes on. <laughs> no That's just the nature of stuff. Uh, um, <laughs> the there are things they can do with those shows that they aren't doing. I think they're just trying to get the four wheels on the ground and just see if it rolls. But, exactly. I mean, exactly. there's a lot they can do. They should have a backstage, I think. Yeah, yeah. It seems to make more sense. Um, plus, it, it doesn't look that good if you – like if you're holding a live show, even a post show, and everyone's filing out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I mean, you still have – Ric Flair and Booker T talking about wrestling up there, is, and you're showing people leaving. Well, even even to that effect, I mean, is that really much different than, like, you know, the end of NFL games when they do that on but the field? But that's different. Like, that's that to me is different because that's just like a sports center thing at that point. The post show could be other stuff. True, but I think they're going for the sports center thing i i made the i made the comment during it and and like i think i think i was watching with missy and she's like it's weird they're doing this i'm like really is this much different than them adding to one and two hour pre and post shows to nfl days and trying to fill it with content you know uh, dude on days where there's a nascar race there is <laughs> programming gonna... all motherfucking okay. day okay wait a minute wait a minute are we counting are we counting this sunday when we had the rain delay and we were they they ended up getting to the fights the feuds in nascar camper triple Welcome to our 85 hour nascar coverage for daytona 500 <laughs> <laughs> No, Michael. Yeah, kind of horse races. My the Walter. race lasts maybe three minutes, and there's day long yeah. coverage. Man, yeah. don't get me started on the dog show. Um, 
guys, I want to know something. Can you, can you tell me something, guys? Can we can we talk? Can we talk? Sure. Can we can we real talk right now? Nine can you inches. can you what? tell? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me uh, what you learned from wrestling this week, somebody? God so. damn it, Sorg! I sure will. All right, I know, I know, I know. Matt Carlin's, you learned a lot about partying and pinatas. I learned if you invite uh, Erwin R. Shireman over to your uh, pay per view party, he'll leave you Miller High Life. So, <laughs> there's another <laughs> thing that I learned. I learned that even though. Every single human being who considers themselves a wrestling fan, the entire WWE universe, even though everybody wants Daniel Bryan to be in a WWE title match at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan himself does not want to be in a WWE title match at WrestleMania. He wants to fight Triple H, just like right before the Royal Rumble, when everybody wanted Daniel Bryan to be in the Royal Rumble so he could win a title shot at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan wanted to fight Bray Wyatt. Why? Are we imposing our own needs on this poor young man, Daniel Bryan? We all want Daniel Bryan to be in the world title match. Maybe Daniel Bryan doesn't want to fight for the world title wrestling fans. Maybe he just wants to have other matches. Did you ever think about that? Maybe Daniel Bryan has his own agenda. Why are you forcing your own misconceptions and your own beliefs on Daniel Bryan? He just wants to have matches. He doesn't want to have a world title match. Leave Daniel what Bryan I, alone. Um, what about you, Mike? I learned that Paul Heyman and Daniel Bryan should not have the same opinion. Because they do. That speech that Paul Heyman made before the Brock thing could have just as been easily made by Daniel Bryan and made the exact same amount of sense. And that's mm-hmm. probably not a good thing you want for the manager of one of your main heels and your top babyface. Hmm. 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 What about you, Riz? Uh, I was gonna say, um, th- uh, what I learned is is that Daniel Bryan's speech at the end, mm-hmm. where he did challenge Triple H to a match, it sounds like that wasn't for Daniel Bryan. It sounded it sounded more punkish than Brian, and I think it's telling that this happens. And hopefully, you know, it doesn't mean you know punk's not there anymore. Uh, but it just means that right now, Daniel Bryan is is pretty much taking the place of CM Punk. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean he gets a bang AJ again? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. What about you, Wheels? Yes. Yes. What did yes. I learn yes. from wrestling? Yes. That's what I learned That's also. Off. But no, what I learned is I love confetti, but I love how Lodi can clean a ring out of confetti by using his own signs. And if you <laughs> want to know what I'm talking about, buy the DVD at Sorgatron Media. <laughs> It's not up yet, but okay. Shill. I appreciate that. Shill it. <laughs> Shill it. You sold Man, out. Heaven. You sold out. You sold out. Wait, who? Wait, who? Wheels? <laughs> no, I didn't. I work for RW8 and Sorgatron Media as a whole. Okay, corporate wheels. Okay. The views of Sorgatron I'll, Media do I not will run that over view. your toes, Mike. <laughs> and I will push you back into traffic. Bobby, how about you? <laughs> I learned about NXT this week because I watched a very informative NXT thing twice, <laughs> uh, the special that they had. And I, I just want to say Aiden English is one of the best gimmicks ever. Mm-hmm. The dude is like a musical WWE superstar, and it's yes. awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> what about you, LB? Um, I learned that the Shield versus the Wyatt family is like McDonald's. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. LOL. LOL. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm loving I'm it. I'm loving it. Wow. Um, I learned. Um, I learned. You never really know how many people are in a uh, in a in a pro wrestling company until you have a battle royal. Um, yeah. That, because that, that, well, that, IWC. That, we'll that. talk about it on uh, Andy Mayhem show. 
but uh, IWC had a battle royal to start off the show. And it was a full freaking ring. It Holy was. crap! I like. I think I said there was like twenty five guys in there. Sorg, may I direct your attention to World War Three? Okay, has, yeah, well, yeah, point. yeah. And there was actually a point made on that on uh, the Jericho show interviewing Chavo about, yeah, they had a lot of guys and they really didn't do much. And a bunch of guys did these shows and you never saw them anywhere else because they just hired a shit ton of guys. And then there was World War Three when they brought in like 60 or 90 guys. Yeah. Uh, by the way, there I was one of the Royal Rumbles where they brought in a bunch of random Mexican dudes. Yeah. yeah. Latin yeah. lover. There you go. I believe that was 95. Here they were short on things because they were letting people go because they weren't doing too good and almost went bankrupt. They're like, <laughs> "Oh no, we have no, don't have enough wrestlers." I need, um, I need, I need to find Tajiri versus Super Crazy matches. Oh yes, I remember. That's what all I want to do, dude. The ones I found of them on TNN were amazing. <laughs> That's that oh, was my int- that was some of my introduction yeah. to ECW. To be honest, was those Bobby, two. If you want a good Tajiri match, mm-hmm. um. Uh, Tajiri vs. Little Guido, Hardcore Heaven 98. There you cool. go. 99, 99. Guys, I am so pleased to have watched, or watched, watched you watch wrestling. <laughs> watch us watch, grow up. Watch you, watch me, <laughs> watch wrestling. Um, <laughs> so pleased to have wa- talked about wrestling here for the last couple hours with you. Uh, it's going to be fantastic I, 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 with the WWE Network. Uh, how I think we're going to have some fun projects out of that between us. Uh, so, uh, you guys, you can join us here. Uh, we're, of course, here every uh, Tuesday night live at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, followed 11 p.m. by the Indie Mayhem Show. Uh, you can uh, drop by. Uh, tonight's guest is actually uh, Matt. No, Brand, no, that's a different guy. Brandon Stroud, <laughs> the great columnist. <laughs> uh, last week we had Keith Hot, former IWC Tag Team Champion. You can check all those stuff out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can also find the, all these shows on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, uh, Blip TV, Roku, Stitcher, Spreaker, all that kind of stuff. And you can also drop us a line at that email address. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, you can also uh, find us at Mayhem Show on Twitter, uh, on the Facebook group, Wrestling Mayhem Show, on the Facebook page, Google+, Plus, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, of course, uh, thanks to uh, Michael Allen, who's been doing show notes for us for a good while here and live-tweeting the show as well. Thanks a lot to him uh, for doing all that stuff and, and doing show notes so I don't have to do it at 4 in the morning and, and make them not make sense. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you all you guys at Papa Lunch or the Papa Lunchbox at DJ Lunchbox at Bobby FJ10 at Matt Carlin's at yep. Bo- at the E Riz at, at Mad Mike 4883 at Hot Wheels RWA and I'm at Sorgatron. We'll see you at next week. Mayhem Ooh. out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait.